Okay, hey everybody, it's Steph. I'm sorry I haven't had a video in ages. I have been swamped. I had a large order of hearts for bridal shower and a bunch of other stuff going on and some migraines and well, you don't need the excuses. But more videos coming soon, I promise. So this is an unboxing. Um, my cousin and I went to Bullseye and pretty much bought the store. Uh, we did make discount, so there's that. I would feel bad, but it was really freaking cool and we had a great time. My cousin Sierra has been in glass with me about four months now. Glass bug has bitten her hard. She's made some really cute pieces since that. This is her most recent one. Isn't that darling? So she's got a real great eye for stuff and works with a lot of intricate things and uh, loves pinks and purples, which as we all know is the most expensive glasses out there. So we went and found a bunch of really cool curious glass and uh, Bullseye had their Saturday glass back, which is what they refer to as their Cascadia, Glasscadia, or their limited edition special production glass. And so we bought a bunch of it. And I thought I'd do a quick unboxing to show you. She was going to be here and be part of the video, but it was yesterday and I just ran out of time to get it filmed and she had to work today, whereas today is my day off. So I'm going to start showing you what we got. We also got some stuff for my mom. So it starts with five, gal five gallons, five pounds of crystal clear transparent for mom. Five pounds of translucent turquoise blue transparent powder for mom. Five pounds of crystal clear coarse for me because I use it for my heart. Five pounds of violet striker transparent coarse because my cousin and I both go to tons of it. You turn it into little tiny frit balls and then my cousin decorates things with eight million tiny balls of frit. I don't know how she has the patience to put 300 balls on a little piece of glass. She can do it. She also, I also picked up some dark forest green and orange transparent in medium because I'm out. And light aquamarine blue, yellow transparent coarse, again to make print dots. Turquoise blue in coarse and gold purple in coarse. And please don't mind the sound of the tractor from behind me. It is work day here at the farm. So my dad is going to come breezing by here pretty soon. And when he gets too close, I'll get quiet. Then this was a special edition Saturday glass, Glasscadia. Isn't this gorgeous? It is a powder blue and pink, and it's just stunning. So I had to get a 10 by 10 of it. This is boring. This is just a half sheet of medium amber. But I used it for a really cool bowl. My cousin's been doing birch trees on one. So we got ourselves a half sheet of amber, which I will just put back since I can reach. Right here. Don't mind the screaming, my father is deaf. What you get when you live on a cattle ranch. Anyway, here is the haul, and I'm going to move out of the way for showing it, so I'm going to be off camera except for showing it. I've cut the plastic off the tops of most of them, and then as I show the glass I'll have to cut them off each set. But I figured it would be quicker than sawing through each set. I got what I could out of the way. So here's the first piece, and my cousin uh, chose it. It's cranberry pink, blue, white, and green. And it is uh, royal blue. Spring green, white streaky, double rolled. Is it not beautiful? It looks like the Aurora Borealis. She couldn't keep her hands off it, and that's ultimately the piece that made us decide to go for volume. The next piece, that was not curious. This piece was curious. And can you imagine this? Let me just show you, I won't have to imagine it. Imagine this over that as a piece. Isn't that stunning? So that's part of the plan we have for that one. And those two were wrapped separately because we bought a lot of glass. And then we have, it's a good thing I got a lot of room in my studio. This beautiful stunner of uh, Caribbean blue and white. That was curious. I set these all down upside down, so I'm reading the labels upside down. But the Caribbean blue and white's beautiful. And here's a Glasscadia Saturday Glass Limited Edition. We bought two sheets of this because it's beautiful. And it is Neo Lavender Shift Ameth and Amethyst. Dense, white, streaky, double roll. Look at these colors. Is that not stunning? 
I have no idea what all we're going to do with it, but we bought two sheets because that way we can cut one with Reckless Abandon and preserve the other one for when we really want to do things. Um, I always find that if I get a second sheet of something limited, I don't feel so bad about cutting up the first. So here is the second sheet. It is also stunning. Next sip. This is boring, but this is a curious sheet. This is just plain old Erbium pink tint. But when you get it for like, well, Curious Glass is already discounted at the Portland Resource Center. And then they discounted another 30% on top. So you get it for roughly about 40% off what you pay for top shelf glass. And when you're my cousin and me and you don't do a lot of production stuff and you can cut around any really obvious perfections and there aren't usually any, it's much worth having. This is my cousin's favorite glass outside of the purples. It is a uh, streaky white with clear and white. And she loves to make sun catchers out of it. So we got two sheets of this because she's been through most of a sheet of it already. So there is the second sheet. And it's really pretty. And then we're down, we're almost done. It, you know, as much as we've spent on glass, it, you know, doesn't take a whole lot to fill up your, uh, your cart with glass and make a discount these days. This is a special production they've had that I've had my eye on since June. Manufacturing date was June 7th. And it is a special freaky. It's French vanilla and what I think is light plum. But isn't it beautiful? So yeah, it's really pretty. And I've been looking for it for a while, so I finally splurged and got it since we were going to do volume. And then here's the two pieces that we found that were really cool. These are cranberry pink, spring green, and royal blue. They're much like that very first piece I unboxed, but there's no white. And so we thought they were really cool, and they're price code K, which means they're about $200 a sheet, $220-ish. And so they're 186 in the bullpen plus 30% off, which made them a lot more affordable. And see, this is the second one. And so we ultimately decided to grab those and we started talking about that sheet that she found with the white in it and the glass Kadia because we wanted the amethyst and that's kind of what prompted the whole we're going over budget today although we had the money for it so it was okay and then last and probably least exciting two sheets of 24 by 48 Tecta because you can never have too much clear glass and I go through a lot of clear glass working with Soulflex even though they have their own stash of glass, thanks to my grandmother, I still go through a lot of glass. So so there's my unboxing. I tried to make it quick. Um, which one's your favorite? I like them all. Uh, I do think my favorite is the Neo Lavender Shift with the amethyst and the white because I'm a sucker for purple and a lot of my glass is purple even though it's wicked expensive. Um, but next, my next favorite is probably this one. I love this cranberry pink, spring green, and blue. I have had in the past, and somewhere I've still got a sheet of it, where it's light pink striker, green, and blue. And it was a special production they did. And I used to love working with it, because when it fired up, it just it blew your mind. Um, so I'm really fond of the fact that they did a cranberry that way. Uh, but there we have that. I have some tutorials for bowls. I need to do the Kandinsky Circle Split Mold or not Kandinsky Circles, Mold Kandinsky Circles video, and a few other things coming. I have just been busier than a cat on a tin roof. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hey, it's Steph, and I appreciate you watching my video. YouTube will recommend another one down below, so if you want to keep watching, just click on it.